Soporific bedbugs. Item number, SCP-456. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. The SCP-456 colony is to be kept in a sealed containment room. Personnel entering the containment area should wear level 1 biohazard suits to avoid being bitten by SCP-456, and the suits must be treated with insecticide upon leaving the enclosure. When not being used in experiments, SCP-456 must be fed 70 milliliters of human or animal blood per 100 insects, weekly. Description: SCP-456 is a variety of the common bedbug, Cimex lectularius. In addition to an anticoagulant, SCP-456 injects data expunged when biting its host, causing the brain to produce adenosine, endorphins, and a narcotic identified as an analog of fentanyl. As a result, victims of SCP-456 infestations experience increasing euphoria and somnolence as the number of insects increases, eventually sleeping 24 hours per day. SCP-456 was identified after a number of individuals were found dead in their homes, suffering from varying degrees of malnutrition, blood loss, and narcotics toxicity. SCP-456 continues to be a problem in the wild. To reduce the number of infestations, the CDC has issued a false report that bedbugs carry malaria and must be exterminated when found. Addendum. Four D-Class were requisitioned for exposure to SCP-456 to determine long-term effects. Experiment 456-1. D-17514 exposed to SCP-456 and fed standard rations, but given no other special treatment. After 17 days of exposure, D-17514 slept constantly and was unable to care for himself. Subject expired for malnutrition blank days later. Experiment 456-2. D-17515 exposed to SCP-456 and fed intravenously when unable to care for herself. Subject expired from blood loss after blank days. Experiment 456-3. D-17516 exposed to SCP-456 fed intravenously, and given periodic blood transfusions as needed. Subject expired from narcotic overdose after blank days. Experiment 456-4. D-17517 exposed to SCP-456, fed intravenously, and given periodic blood transfusions in addition to small doses of a narcotic antagonist. Subject survived for blank days, and was supporting a colony of blank insects at conclusion of experiment. D-17517 remanded for amnestic treatment and reassignment on blank, 2000 blank. Addendum. Mobile Task Force IOTA-10, Dam Feds, is investigating a report that a drug cartel located in blank, Mexico, is kidnapping members of the public, breeding SCP-456, and extracting the narcotics produced by the victims under the cover of DEA operatives. Anyone found to be using SCP-456 in this manner is to be terminated, 